Hi, today we want to talk about some of the essentials of Tai Chi Chuan. So um, if you're a beginner, hopefully you already checked out the basic steps and uh, some of the basic principles. And um, then this video is going to show you some more things you need to learn. If you're a more advanced student, then this is a good video to remind yourself of some things that you always need to practice in your Tai Chi. So <clears throat> Tai Chi Chuan is an internal uh, martial art. Um, as we've said before, the most important thing is waist connection into the hips and into the Dantian. The Dantian, that's the center of the energy, is down here. So when we try to do our breathing, we try to use the muscles in the diaphragm and in the stomach, lower stomach. And in this way, we lengthen out the lungs. And then we fill up into the sides of the lungs with the uh, muscles on the sides. So this takes some practice. Um, you can just basically try to always feel that your stomach is working together with you when you're doing your breathing, particularly when you're practicing. So the breathing that you practice while you're performing your Tai Chi, let's say you're doing the, the A form, or if you're more advanced, maybe you're doing the 24 or the 40. So while you're practicing, you're gonna be very conscious of your breath. Most of the rest of the day, you're not really going to be conscious of your breath. You're just going to breathe on automatic pilot. And that means you're only going to use probably about a third of your lung capacity. So while you're training your Tai Chi, make sure you always train your breathing as well. Increase your lung capacity. Make sure all of the uh, muscles around the lungs, around the heart are working well. So <clears throat> one of the most important things uh, in Tai Chi is the uh, initial posture. Now, this obviously has bearing on your posture that you have in your daily life as well. Um, now, often the best way to find a good posture is first to take uh, the completely wrong posture. So we're going to try to do that, first of all, just with um, our body. So what I want to what I want us uh, to do now is just stand up straight, okay, and stretch yourself up as high as you can, so that you feel that your back is really arched in, like this, and you're standing up on straight legs, so all your bones are piled up up on top of each other, okay. And now what I want you to do, you see the hand there in the back. I want you to roll your backbone and your hips down, bend your knees, and and until you can feel your backbone pushing out against your hand. Okay, so then this piece here is gonna become much flatter, okay? And the weight is gonna go down into, down into the legs, okay? So stretch up like this. You're sticking your chest out. Now when we finish this movement now, then the chest is gonna be relaxed and almost depressed inwards because we're sinking everything into the legs. Okay, so make sure your hand is there. Okay, bend your knees a little. Your feet should be about shoulder width, shoulder width apart. Now roll down until you feel your backbone push your hand out. And when it's straight, then your hand should be able to drop straight down. Okay, straight. So this is what we want. We want the posture more like this so that the weight is being carried in the legs and the hips, the hips are connecting up the body and the legs, okay? So <clears throat> it's very important when you try to practice martial arts that you use your body as one unit. So your legs and your upper body have to be really well connected. Of course, the only way to connect that is through the hips. So the more we use our hips, the much better our martial arts is going to be, and in this case, our Tai Chi. So I'll show you an exercise for that in a second, okay? So let's just try one more time now. We just stretch up real high, and then sink into the legs, roll down until we feel the backbone nice and straight, and the hips have kind of rolled down into the legs. 
when we compete uh, at world level, so for example the tournaments I do in China, then we do everything DTR, which is low frame. So this means you have to really have strong legs to do that. So that's why it's very important to always practice sinking the weight into the legs. Now the same thing when we do this, what we do is instead of standing up like this with our head back or standing over like this with our head forwards, what we do is we have our head nicely in line, okay, all the time. So the ba hui, the ba hui, this is a, the fontanella here on the top point. So this is in, in Chinese martial arts, is a um, very important vital point because our energy flows very much through this point. Um, <clears throat> so the ba hui, so this should be in line with the, basically with the center of your body going down all the way, okay? And then we try to keep this. Now the head should not be sunk in like this, okay? The head should be up. If you imagine somebody take one of your hairs, or if you have a ponytail like me, you can imagine being suspended, being slightly suspended from above. So the body weight is sunk, but the head is aware and suspended in its own space, okay? So this is very important when we practice martial art for the intention, okay? So in Tai Chi we say intention and not tension. So we don't want any tension in the, in the, uh, the muscles and in the joints. I'll explain that to you in a second. And when we talk about intention, what we mean is that the intention of the mind and the eyes is focused on the movement that we're going to perform. So if you and me are going to fight right now, I'm going to be very focused on you and move in with you, making sure that all of my intention is on what I'm doing. Okay? So this is what we mean when we talk about intention. Now, that's in a fight situation, but also when you practice a form, you try to take your intention into the distance so you could almost lose focus really a little bit. It doesn't really matter so long as you're focused on the movements that you're performing. Okay? So that everything is done with your full attention and full capacity. The hardest thing about Tai Chi Chuan is developing 100% control over your body. And that's the challenge of, of training for a long time and learning the higher level forms. Now, some of you have been training for a long time, you will understand what I mean. To really control stuff 100% is not an easy task. Okay, so going back to tension in the joints and muscles. If you take a posture, so let's take a Tai Chi brush knee posture. Okay, so this is a bow stance, big bow stance, brush knee posture. Okay, and the front hand. So that front hand is rotating over, this is basically a block, and then a push from the back hand. Now if we look from the side, and we extend that hand out now, and lock out that joint, okay? So this is something we never want to do in martial arts. As soon as we do this, we lose all the capacity of this arm, okay? This becomes a stick which can be used against us. So what do you do? Ex overextend. Now, relax back, so it still looks straight, but it's not quite straight because now the elbow's a little bit bent, the wrist is a little bit relaxed, the shoulder is down, and the back is providing the energy together with the hip. So this, if we take this locked position, which we don't want, and relax back, this we call Chen Chen. Okay, so this is a very important principle when you're practicing Chinese martial arts, particularly Tai Chi. Same if your hand goes up, let's say we do a crane position. Now overextend those arms so that everything locks. Now relax back again. And that will bring you to the correct position most of the time. So if you're unsure of your position when you're practicing, 
that's a way to find the right position. Okay, so overextend a little, relax back, and then feel where it's connected, it's still connected to the body. The side here, you see, the latissimus muscle, very important. So when we do, for example, the brush knee, and we move this arm across, and then that's going to parry, actually what we're doing is we're using the latissimus muscle. And then we're following in with the other side, okay? So this is a very important thing to feel when you're practicing a form, doesn't matter which form, feel this connection here because the latissimus is the only muscle that connects from your shoulder all the way to your hip. So it's connecting your upper body to your legs, going through the hips. This is a very important muscle. So a lot of time when we're doing exercises, maybe a Qigong, everything's moving from here, okay? So also, it's very important sometimes breathe and stretch up into your back and into the sides so you feel all of those muscles working, okay? So those things are very important uh, when you're doing your training. Otherwise, you're just going to be moving little stick arms around um, independently, and we don't want to do that. Any movement in Tai Chi basically generates from the feet, the legs, the hips, and the body. The hands are the last thing, the last thing you should be thinking about. So sometimes you could walk a form and only do the steps of the form. Okay, put your hands on your hips and just try to see if you can walk through the steps of the form, whichever way it goes, okay? And then your stances and your connection in your hips is going to improve and get much, much better, okay? Now, the next point that we want to cover is um, just working on the hip. Working on the hip, we want to try to do the twisted stance, Okay? The twisted stance is an is a important stance in the more intermediate and advanced forms. So I'm just going to step back here now. So we want to put the heel down and then we're going to turn away from myself and pick up the back heel. Okay, turn back again. So I'm turning on the heel and the toe of the back foot. Heel of the front foot, toe of the back foot. When the front foot goes down, the back heel is going to come up. And my back elbow, my back elbow is going to go with it because of the hip. So if I come towards you now and I put up my left foot, in your case you could do your right foot and walk towards me. Okay, now push with the back foot, twist, and bring the elbow around a little bit. Now put your left foot out and we're going to twist this way. So push with the back foot, push with the forwards, push and twist. Now your back heel should be up, your front foot should be flat down facing this way. So we have a movement the snake puts out the tongue so as this front foot turns palm is going to come out, front palm. And instead of the elbow now, we're going to push with the back hand. And we're going to put the foot out again. Now this hand is going to rotate. This one is going to push. Okay, those are the kind of exercises you can do just to feel the hip connection a little bit better. Okay, so... These are a few important principles in your Tai Chi training. Uh, try to work on these and make sure you employ these in all of your uh, Tai Chi training. The most important is the posture of the back, the Chen Chen, keeping things relaxed in the joints, the vertical line, which you try to maintain throughout your whole form, regardless of what technique you're doing, okay? And on the next video, we'll go into some more of the Tai Chi Essentials.